follow through with metastasis, for example, looking for mets. You know, we have one dog who just diagnosed in December and by February, at the end of January, had mets. And you can just, you can just see the lesion, you can see how it bulked up. And that's with by digital radiography? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the difference between an MRI and okay, a CT? Okay, so a CT is a series of circular x-rays. So it's, it's like a spinning x-ray machine. So it can take lots of different episodes of that, that picture. An MRI is based on uh, how uh, electrons are uh, repulsed in their conductivity. And so it's different. It's magnetic resonance imaging. So it's not necessarily, you're not dealing with radiographs. And so it gives you uh, just a slightly different image with that. So if I wanted to look at soft tissue, I could get much more detail. Mm -hmm. So the the big thing we often make the comparison is is that if I was if I wanted to look at a dog's elbow, I would look at it with CT because CT is better with more bony issues. Um, whereas a shoulder, I'd want to look more uh, with an MRI. When people are doing follow up X rays mm -hmm. um, to find out if the mets have developed. Are x-rays good enough? So if you have a lesion less than three millimeters, it doesn't always show up on an x-ray. Or if it does, it looks like the end, the blunt end of an alveoli. So very hard to distinguish. But um, I could probably pull up Nick Johnson's x-rays and you could see how quickly he developed. So that's your lytic lesion right there. And you have a little bit of um, periosteal involvement there. Um, I'd say in a very mild amount of of soft tissue. Okay, so we can take a quick peek at his uh, chest x-rays. And he's an older dog, so um, he was 2000, so a 10-year-old model. So you can't tell if those are just the end of blunt end of an alveoli or a vessel. Um, you have them there. It's very, very difficult. Uh, can't say too much. It looks like old dog lungs, basically. Um, so I'm going to go back to the archive. And we're going to move up a month from there. Let me make sure. Okay. So, eh, maybe Hello, it's in right there. You might say something's there. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> this is one month later. <laughs> so now you can see changes here right. and you have more soft tissue involvement here. I say the, so this, to me, I hate soft tissue involvement because it just makes everything all the worse because it's like you're dealing with two different problems. Okay, so the... The biggest change was that's less than a month, so that's 23 days. It's about three weeks later, right, Dr. Kelly? Oh, yeah. Nick. Yep, Nick. No, Nick. He was very, very, very quick. And we'll go to our tumor here, which looks really bad. So lots more soft tissue involvement. And digital x-rays are a lot better than your, than your standard x-rays. It seems like I can see more differences. I could shade this out. You know, I can shade more shades of gray and white. And then I'll go to his last one. And then everywhere. Big. He's a good boy. Mm -hmm. and like I said, depending on how your pictures come out, let me know and I can email whatever you need. Okay. <clears throat> and then this started to cavitate and outgrow its blood own blood supply. That was a month later? Uh, this is 223, from, from, so from December 1st to 223. And what type of cancer? Osteoporosis. Coming back in the bone and soft tissue? It, it, well, this was just, he, he didn't have an amputation, so this is ah. just his... his